Hi everyone, welcome back to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at educator.com. This is our lesson 10, Recording MIDI. In this lesson, we will learn about what MIDI is, how MIDI works in Pro Tools. We will be looking at creating MIDI compatible tracks and instrument tracks. We will record MIDI using Pro Tools virtual instruments and learn about these great feature instruments in Pro Tools. We also will go over our MIDI controls and set up tempo and meter for our sessions. MIDI. What is MIDI? MIDI stands for each initial of musical instrument digital interface. MIDI is basically a protocol for connecting electronic instruments, performance controllers and computers so they can all communicate with one another. MIDI data does not represent sound waves. Instead, it represents information about the performance, such as the pitch duration, volume, and order of notes to be played. When we take a look at MIDI in Pro Tools, we see that Pro Tools includes an integrated MIDI sequencer that lets us import, record, and edit MIDI in much the same way we worked in audio. There are two types of tracks we could work with MIDI data in Pro Tools. One of them is the MIDI tracks and the second one is the instrument tracks. MIDI track stores MIDI note, instrument and controller data only. No audio can pass through a MIDI track. They are often used with auxiliary input tracks for monitoring and playing back synth sounds or virtual instruments. And the second type we just mentioned is the instrument tracks, which is more commonly used. And in Pro Tools, it provides MIDI and audio comp capability in a single channel strip. So in the instrument tracks, we can store a MIDI note, instrument and controller data as well. But we can also route audio signal for monitoring and playing back for an instrument associated with the MIDI data on the tracks. Let's talk about creating uh, MIDI compatible tracks. We can either create a MIDI or instrument tracks to work with MIDI. And that's what we're going to be doing in this unit. If we want to use the virtual instrument to record a track, we need to choose stereo instrument tracks or sometimes mono instrument tracks. Those tracks are basically tick-based timing. Basically, uh, there is uh, two things that we can talk about it here. One of them is the sample based and the other one is a tick based operation. Technically, each track we have on the screen, if I just go to this bass channel, this is an audio channel, and if I go down here with my uh, click and the arrow shows it's a time-based selector and it says samples in parentheses there you see but if I go to a uh, instrument track this sign right here is different here and it shows us time-based selector ticks we also see this one when we create a track to look at this one if we want to create a new track we always uh, be asked about what kind of track and if it's in samples or ticks by default, when we create stereo or mono audio tracks, they come with the samples, but you can change it to the ticks. And if we go choose, let's say stereo instrument track, you see it's automatically changed here for ticks, but we could change that to a sample as well. What's the differences? Basically, I can give you one basic example to be able to explain this I think in a better and a simple way, uh, we can just like apply a time change operation here. And as you see here, I have three audio tracks, two acoustic guitar, one bass recorded, and then I have my loop here. One of the Pro Tools uh, virtual instruments expand, and then I have a pad that's also expand right here. So what we